uh, with the candidates that we received. I think it says a lot about the school and the program itself, uh, the number of people that were interested uh, and excited about the potential of being the next football coach at West Washington. So, um, you know, we narrowed the process down, did a lot of vetting of the applicants and came down to four excellent candidates. And all of them were exceptionally, uh, did exceptionally well in the interviews and we were impressed with all of them. Uh, but one of them really stuck out and we we're happy to say that um, we extended the offer to Coach Lowry and uh, he accepted. And so we're excited to see uh, this new chapter in West Washington Senator football. So I'm gonna turn it over to Athletic Director Darren Russell and then we'll have some time for questions. Again, we are very happy to announce that Jeremy Lowry will be the new coach of West Washington football. Uh, a little bit about Coach Lowry. He has 23 years experience in coaching, including the past four as a head coach, two years at Paoli and two years at LaPorte, where his combined record there was 28-19. and 19. Um, During that time, he won two PLAC conference championships and a sectional championship while at Paoli. Um, during his time as an assistant coach, he has been a part of another seven conference championships, two sectional championships, and one regional championship. Coach Lowry has also been a coach for the South team in the North-South annual football game. Um, as a player, Coach Lowry played at Penn High School for Hall of Fame coach Chris Giesman, where Jeremy was an All-State running back and led, to, led them to the state finals as a senior. He will be inducted into the Indiana Football Hall of Fame in 2021. He earned a scholarship to Western Kentucky as a running back where he played for legendary coach Jack Harbaugh. Coach Lowry has had success everywhere he has been. The thing that stands out about him is his passion for the game and the love he has for each and every player who plays for him. He is a perfect fit for our program and will continue to build on the success our teams have had in the past. There is no doubt in my mind or anyone who has met Jeremy that Center Nation fans, parents, and most importantly, players are going to love playing for Coach Lowry. Jeremy. All right, thank you, uh, Darren. I will let uh, Coach Lowry uh, have a brief introductory statement and then we will go to our questions from our student reporters and the local news that we've invited. So uh, just wanna start with uh, letting everyone know how excited uh, I am, how excited my family is, um, an opportunity to come home, an opportunity to be a part of this uh, great proud tradition at West Washington. And, uh, you know, it was a process. And at the end of the day, when you start connecting the dots, uh, like Darren said, just really feel like this is a great fit. Uh, really feel like we can come here and build on the incredible tradition, uh, the incredible winning tradition that's been established here and uh, take this program to the next level. And I just wanna, I wanna thank everyone that was involved in the process. Uh, I wanna thank Keith, I wanna thank Darren, I wanna thank the school board. Um, I wanna thank the community, just a lot of people that have made us feel extremely welcome. Thank you. I'm Titan Williams with West Washington Senator Radio, and today I'll be asking you a couple of questions. So the first one would be, when you applied for this job, what was one of the deciding factors that made you want to come back to Washington County and coach here for the Senators? Great question, Titan. Um, you know, several things stick out. You know, one, uh, my entire family's here. Uh, my wife's entire family's here. Um, so a chance to come back home. Uh, two, you know, living in the area for 25 years, you know, I coached at Salem as an assistant for 10 years. I coached at Paoli for 10 years, the last two as a head coach. And so I was very familiar with the West Washington program. I was very familiar with the people in this community and uh, the incredible young men that have played over the years uh, for this great program. And I've always admired it from afar and always thought it was a fantastic job. You know, you've got a great community. Um, you've got great facilities. 
Uh, you've got great leadership and a commitment to winning. And I think when you put all that together, uh, just makes it a very, very attractive job. So second question for you, what do you think the transition will be like going from a big school like LaPorte coming back down to a 1A school that might have fewer players? Well, you know, it's, um, it's interesting you say that every, every place you go is a little different. Um, you know, at LaPorte, had 106 kids on the team, uh, freshman through senior. Uh, obviously here a little bit smaller, this closer to like what I had at Paoli. Um, there's certain advantages of both. Um, the advantages of a smaller school is, is you really get in touch with the kids on a deeper level. You know, um, at Laporte there was eight elementary. So when I would go to talk to the, the younger kids in the youth program, it took a lot of time. I had to make my way to a lot of different buildings. Here, you just walk down the hallway. It's nice. You get to know people. Um, a deeper level, um, the people I'm going to be working with, it's, um, I think it's easier to build relationships in the smaller community. And it was one of the things that really attracted me that I've, I've really missed on my days at Paoli and in smaller schools is just that, uh, that, that closer knit community, uh, easier to connect with people. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kenan Roof from West Washington Student Radio. I was wondering what you're expecting to see from the players this upcoming season. So, uh, our expectation is, is we're going to play with a ton of energy and a ton of excitement. And that's going to be evident as soon as our team takes the field. Everyone watching will notice that. Um, we want our kids to play hard. Uh, at the end of the contest, we want people to comment on the energy level, the excitement level, and how hard our kids played. And um, I don't think that's gonna be hard to accomplish here. Um, like I said, being very familiar with this program, a uh, lot of hardworking kids, a lot of dedicated kids, a dedicated, experienced staff that's very familiar with these kids coming back. And, uh, you know, we just, we want our kids to have fun. We want it to be an incredible experience for everyone involved. Um, so my next question is, what are you like the most excited about for this season? Not like... Like, are you excited to meet the players or anything like that? Extremely excited to, to meet and get to know the players. I'm extremely excited to work with uh, experienced staff. I mean, there's a lot of great football coaches that have been here a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to sit down in meeting rooms and just throw mud at the wall and, and figure out different things that, that, you know, schematically wise on what we're going to bring to the table and how we're going to put our kids in the best situation to be successful. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. My name is Gabriel Porter with Senator News. What are some of the ideals you plan on instilling into the program? You know, that's a, that's a great question. Um, just, just got to meet with the players this morning, and we were going over some of that, and... Uh, you know, we have, a, we have a certain thing we call our plan to win. Um, we also refer it to let's be great. And it's our ideals, our, ideals, our culture, um, our expectations from our players. It's pretty, pretty extensive, you know, but there's, there's several things that, that stick out from, uh, you know, easily stick out that I'll go over. First one is what we call big team, little me. And... Um, that means being a part of something bigger than yourself. Uh, obviously, they've been playing football here for roughly 60 years. And, you know, long before I ever stepped in the door and they'll be playing football long after I'm gone or anyone involved in our program right now. But uh, we're the caretaker of the program right now. And, and the way we play and the way we represent ourselves is very important. And when you talk about big team, little me, um, we want that selfless attitude. 
uh, understanding you're a part of something bigger than yourself, uh, recognizing other people's success as if you were having that success yourself and having each other's back. And I think when you get people to buy into that type of mentality, we also refer to it sometimes in football as a offensive lineman mentality. You know, what's beautiful about offensive linemen are those guys, those guys work their tail off and they really don't care who scores as long as we score. And if you can get your entire team uh, thinking that way and believing that way, then, then I truly believe that very ordinary people can accomplish very extraordinary things. Well, you know, the off is all about getting bigger, faster, and stronger. And, you know, we, we, we've got to have a commitment there. We've got a great uh, strength program in place already here at West Washington. And we just want to build on that, expand on that, and just get the kids really excited and understanding that that is an investment and that uh, we're only going to we're only going to get out of this of what we put into it. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm Craig Akers with West Washington Livestream, um, and kind of an interesting situation. You come into a team um, and has a coaching staff that's got well over 100 years of experience. What does that do for you as a head coach coming in with a, a staff that has that kind of experience? Well, you know, it, it, it gives me a lot of confidence. Um, it gives me the ability to um, sit back and do a lot of observing, uh, to throw a lot of mud against the wall. Um, to rely on other people's talents and um, mix in my own. And I think when you're able to do that and when you, uh, you know, I've never been one of those guys that's intimidated by having great talent around you. To me, that, that's a huge, that's a huge bonus. That's a huge asset. And we're going to take advantage of that asset. I mean, there's some really good football coaches here. And I'm, I'm looking forward to coaching with those guys and us just taking this thing to the next level. Kind of to go along with that, um, two, two very successful seasons back to back and then graduate 12, 12 plus seniors. Um, you know, what's your, your, what's your goal going forward with, you know, a younger team coming in with, with not as much experience as what has been here in the past? What, you know, so, you know, that's kind of twofold. You know, one, um, obviously great football team here the last two years. Um, a lot of very talented players, uh, experienced a lot of success. So one positive to that is, is your younger players have, got, have been able to witness that. Uh, they've been able to be a part of that. So, so that's a huge asset. Uh, the other thing is, is so unfortunately those guys are moving on. Um, but the good news is there should be a sense of excitement for those coming back because now it's their time. You know, they've spent a lot of time watching and, uh, you know, being a part of the program, having to do a lot of the dirty work to get the guys that were playing ready to play each week. And now it's their time to get to go have some fun and contribute and get some of that playing time that they've, uh, that's been distributed to others. Um, and that's, that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on that this is an opportunity, you know, um, it's an opportunity for you to get a chance to go out and play, to prove what you can do. Thank you for your time and congratulations on the hire. Thanks, Craig. Brett Mills, West Washington live stream. My question is, we have coaches that have made a difference in our lives. What coach in your life has made the biggest difference to get you to where you are today? You know, um, I consider myself very lucky. Um, I grew up in Texas. I played youth football all the way up through my freshman year in Texas. Um, incredible experience. You know, Texas, we always joke around, you got two sports in Texas and that's football and spring football. And, um, so living that culture growing up at a very young age, uh, I played all, all sports. I competed at all sports and all different activities. Uh, but football was just, it was the, the sport that, uh, that captured my heart. 
and uh, had so many great coaches from the youth level. Um, was fortunate enough to uh, be able to play for a couple guys that were astronauts that had been up in space. And uh, a head coach by the name of Norm Talbot, who uh, was my very first football coach and may st still to this day be one of the best coaches I've ever had. Then I was able to go up to the junior high and guys like um, Jim Pulowski and Randy Hyde and Jim Glover all made a huge impact in my life and introduced me to weightlifting, which turned out to be a whole game within the game uh, that was able to take my game to the next level. And then my mom came home one day and said we were moving to Indiana. She said we were moving to South Bend. And I'll be honest with you, as a... Uh, 15 year old, I, um, I wasn't sure if South Bend was in Michigan or Indiana, but all I knew is that's where Notre Dame was. And so I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed and uh, until I got there and realized what I was gonna be a part of. And there I met, met Chris Giesman, my high school football coach who, uh, him and his staff who literally changed my life. Um, just made such an incredible impact on my life. And uh, they're, they're the big reason why I, I'm sitting here today is, you know, you put all those experiences together and there's a lot of people that touch my life. And, and I really believe I've been so lucky football to be at the right place at the right time. And I feel like this is, this is no different. And this is, uh, this is my chance to give kids an opportunity to have the same experience I had. And if I could give them a quarter of what other people gave me, I feel like I'm going to be very successful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jordan Browning, Leader Publishing. I'll give you a break, Coach. Uh, let your voice uh, rest for a minute. I'm going to ask Mr. Nance, last night at the board meeting, you talked about uh, Coach Lowry will be teaching PE some. And then you mentioned another position, and, and for the folks who may be watching, can you talk just a little bit about what that is? Uh, yeah, in, in a it definitely. Whenever um, we were looking at our candidates, we were looking how those candidates could not only best help our football program, but how could they best help our school uh, into the future. And so we, we definitely know that our schedule is super tight uh, for our students. So adding more sections of the advanced PE for kids that are um, physical fitness minded, but also participate in athletics. Here at West Washington, you know, we need all of our kids to participate in many things as possible. And we don't want the weight room to pull them away from participating in multiple sports. So being able to do that during the school day is very helpful. We also want those kids to be able to participate in the extracurricular activities we have that are academic based. Um, you know, our drama club, our FFA, our BPA, uh, those are all important programs that help make a kid a very well-rounded, successful person. And we don't want there to be competition between the weight room and those activities. So being able to add additional sections of the class during the school day is going to be really important. It's going to be really important to, uh, to those kids that are on such a high academic track that they can't fit advanced PE into their schedule. Because one thing that we're gonna be able to offer with Coach Lowry is a zero hour PE. So they could come in actually before school, take that class for credit and have an additional credit on their school day. Um, and then something that we've been working pretty tirelessly on for the last five years is uh, a, a great communication plan uh, for our community and for those outside of our community um, and promotion of the school. So, you know, when I first joined this community 20 years ago, 21 years ago, um, you know, I had a perception of what the community was and the perception was what other people had written the story to be. I came here and I realized that that was not the story at all. But along the line somewhere, our story wasn't being told by ourselves, it was be to being told by people outside of our community. And if you want the story to be factual, you want the story um, to highlight the great things you have, you better start telling your story. So when I became superintendent, it became a priority to me to tell the story of West Washington. Tell the successes, tell the heart, tell the community-based support 
that is in place here. And to be quite honest, that's a, that's a taxing thing to do in addition to all the other things that a superintendent does. So um, I'm excited that, um, that in addition to the um, four periods of advanced PE that uh, coach will teach, we'll also have someone then for a portion of the day to be able to help me with those things, help highlight students, help highlight staff, help highlight programs, and then be active and involved in the community. Um, Coach Lowry has a lot of great connections, uh, not just in Washington County, but in Orange and Lawrence from his experience with McDonald's. Um, and uh, we've, been act we've been members of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've been member, I'm a member of Rotary, but it's hard to be active members in those things when you're consumed with all the daily things. So that's a, a place where uh, Coach Lowry can really help us in connecting with the community, connecting with business, uh, connecting with, with outside of these walls in this campus. Uh, in addition, um, you know, coming up with the promotional ideas, highlighting students and programs, um, that's somewhere where having a partner to help with that is going to be very beneficial to the school and be, be selfishly beneficial to me. Um, so I'm excited for that. And I think that um, Coach Lowry's personality, his energy, um, his, new, his love, it's only going to grow once he's here for this school and for this community, uh, is going to help, uh, help us tell that story. And I truly believe that if you want uh, your story to be told correct, you better tell it because if not, someone else is going to tell your story for you. And, um, you know, lifting off that, uh, uncovering the lamp, so to speak, and letting the light shine out of here and show what's going on is important to me. Um, because I know at one time other people were writing the story of this community and it was not, it was not what was actually happening. And so, you know, to highlight the positive things that are going on here and having someone to help me do that is just going to, it's just going to be really great. So. Mr. Russell, you get the candidate list down to four. Uh, and I know from talking to people in the community, they were excited about Coach Lowry, but several people have mentioned to me, I hope he stays. You know, two years at Paoli, two years at LaPorte. Is this just a, a stepping point to get somewhere else? Uh, did that cross your mind in looking at the candidate list? I, it, it was definitely a concern when we set out to hire this position. I mean, Coach Bowsman was here numerous years. Um, you know, we, we did not want to be a stepping, stepping stone, and that was one of the things that we talked to the candidates about is we don't want you to come in and, and use us as a stepping stone. And, and that multiple conversations with Jeremy, this is – this is home. He's he's not planning on moving anymore. And you know, yes, he moved went from Paoli for two years, then went up to Laporte, which was actually close to his home in high school. So you know, you could see that. And then the opportunity to come back home where his family was, Bree's family is. You know, this is this is considered the last move. And, and with his kids, and I've been in that situation where you don't especially with girls once they reach a certain age you do you can't move them and and his daughter is getting close to that age so you know we're confident that jeremy's going to be here for the long haul and coach how do you leave those concerns for the people in the community who say how do we know he's here and he's bought into senator nation well you know george several <coughs> several factors there you know one you know, uh, initially when I took the job at Paoli, we were making we were making the transition. You know, I'd been in the restaurant business for 25 years. Had I coached? Yeah, I'd been a lay coach for 20 years. But um, you know, when I decided to get out of that role and to go into coaching, um, Paoli was it was a great fit, and we were able to get started there. And they were able to take a risk on me uh, at the time because they were familiar with me when. Other people weren't willing to take that risk because, you know, I still had some education stuff that I had to take care of and making the transition to teaching and things like that. And then I was there a couple years and another opportunity came up. And it was one of those opportunities that, 
you know, a lot of times when you get started, you know, you you, you got to make up a little ground and you got to make it up quick. And Laporte was a great opportunity and I had some connections up there and, you know, it's kind of one of those things that the dominoes just kind of kept falling. You know, you, you, you make a call and then it leads into another call. And, and then, you know, at that point, my wife and I were both in the restaurant business. So she had to find a new job. She was offered an incredible job up there. And you go on an interview, and next thing you know, you're looking at each other. They offer you the job, and you're like, wow, we kind of got to take this. And we did, and we went up there, and we dove in, and, you know, really turned in the corner up there and met a lot of incredible people, and they were very, very good to us. Um, but, you know, when you're away for two years, especially the last 18 months world we've been living in, the last 18 months, you really start realizing how how important family is and when we got that opportunity to come back home we just we felt called um we felt called to be closer to family um we knew that west washington had been through some serious adversity and they were ready to move on and we felt like we were the right people to do that and uh, just really excited um, obviously we wouldn't be coming back here if we weren't coming back to stay. And, uh, there's just so many levels of this thing that make it a great fit. Um, the great community, the great corporation and family. I think when you put those three things together, it's a, it's a no brainer. I'll finish up on this one. When Mr. Hans was appointed head coach for an interim, uh, you know, he made it clear to the board that he just wanted to <clears throat> transition those seniors out. It was obvious to the football community, at least in, 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 in southern Indiana. At what point did the seed that the West Washington job was going to be open become a sprout in Coach Lowry's head that that might be a position you would want to apply for? Well, you know, everybody follows. You know, if you're, you're a high school football coach, you follow what's going on in the state. Um, but really not until really recently did, you know, the dots really start connecting and, and things become realistic. Because one thing, you know, you're involved building the football team you've got at the time. And, you know, we were, we were very invested at Laporte. And, you know, those kids there, they did everything we asked them to do. And certainly made that clear to them when we stepped down that it had, it had nothing to do with those kids or that community because those people were incredible. Um, this was just a special opportunity to come to a special place and we couldn't pass it up. All right, well, if there are no follow-up questions, uh, we wanna thank everyone for joining us uh, and uh, excited to have this opportunity to introduce Coach Lowry, but also excited to have this opportunity for our kids to get some real uh, in-depth uh, experience at doing something that they may do in their future careers. So uh, thank you to West Washington Livestream and thank you uh, to our digital, digital communication students, uh, those representing WWSR, our student-run uh, internet radio station. Uh, you guys did an excellent job today, so uh, thank you very much, and we look forward to a lot of great years ahead uh, with Coach Lowry at the helm of our football program.